Where do we move to? Where do you go? You do not scare me. You ought to be scared of me. It's not a time to be apathetic or asleep. One water well showed a tenfold increase in methane. This is what's happening to us right now. There's a crisis. And we're going to have to get them to do what the ET is failing to do. The neighbor boy went to get some water out of the creek to water some trees, and it was real murky, and he walked up the brook airways to see, and it was bubbling up out of the ground. I want to be clear that we spent over $4 million in sampling and assessing the site out there. You're being told that what you see, what you feel, what you know isn't true. I don't want to be in a fair fight with the rest of the world, and we have natural resources right here provided by God. Money! <laughs> Ain't that what it's all about? Some of that stuff, if it gets into the groundwater, um, I'm not sure that there's even ways to remediate it. So you're going to drink the water until you have some sort of an indicator, and that may be too late. Ever since all this has started, I've had worsening health, and I'm wondering if some of this is coming from this water crap. We know an awful lot of things. We know how to do things. But if you can't enforce the law, the law isn't any good. Shale drilling waste, known to be radioactive, is being buried in exceptional value watersheds. But you don't want to miss the forest for the trees. And as people have said, state of Pennsylvania sold us out to oil and gas. One day, a man comes to your door with a contract. Five weeks later, I have what you see here, this. With no agreement, they just did it. When people inject fluids under high pressures in the subsurface, interesting and strange things happen. Our water turned white, which looks like this. Our drinking water comes from places many of us have never seen. Are we to be sacrificed? The oil and gas rights trump my rights who pays taxes. That's what kills me. 